One year since the mass shooting at Michigan State University, and now there are new laws in effect to prevent situations like this from happening. And I actually had the opportunity to talk to Attorney General Dana Nessel as she broke down all four new laws to me. It's been pretty somber. I think everyone is trying to... Um just come together and collect. The mood on MSU's campus hasn't been the same since the deadly mass shooting a year ago, prompting change on the state level. I think that there's really no better way uh, than to honor the victims of the MSU shooting than for their family members, their parents to know that here, Michigan State government, we are doing something about it. Four new laws that go into effect one year to the day of the MSU shooting include safe storage for firearms, universal background checks, restrictions for those who have a domestic violence record and may be struggling mentally. The extreme risk protection order law, it, it allows after a lot of due process considerations for a judge to issue what's a temporary order uh, to remove those weapons from the household um, and to give that person an opportunity to get some mental health treatment that they might badly need before they hurt themselves or someone else. Now that the laws are in effect, there is a million dollar question that may be at the top of everyone's mind. Do you think if these laws were in place, we possibly could have avoided Oxford school shooting and the MSU mass shooting? So there's no way of knowing whether that would have happened or not but it could have. And that's for how students feel about the laws. As a student, does that make you feel a little safer on campus? It does to an extent, but I think it needs to be a more um, general laws being passed, like national, federal laws. Reporting here in East Lansing, I'm Larry Wallace, Fox 47 News.